Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and my name is Azhar Islam and today in this video we will learn how to create a multi-vendor e-commerce website like Amazon.com, Walmart and you can easily change the theme, color and customize anything whatever you want. I will show you how to do it step by step without any coding knowledge. So your sellers can upload their product and you can upload your own product. You can easily active and deactive multi-vendor system to sell your electronics product. You can upload your organic or grocery store related product and digital or any physical product on your website. And it has wonderful admin panel. If you visit the admin panel and you can see total orders, products and customer and total reviews, then you can see site analytics and you can see your total visitors, sessions and page views from the dashboard. And I will show you how to configure it step by step and how to set up the php script or laravel script and you can easily upload your own product from the e-commerce tab and you can go to products to create your digital or physical product from here and you can add your product name product permalink product description short description a long description or content and upload product image price everything also you can set or create your own product variation like weight, color, size, anything. Then you can uh, collect more option or add uh, product option in your uh, single product page and customer can select extra option then they can buy any product from your website and they can type their email address, phone number address and they can easily order from your website. Then I will show you how to configure shipping method on your website and you can add multiple rules and multiple shipping method on your website from your dashboard. Then your customers can purchase any product from your website using multiple payment method like Stripe, PayPal, Cash on Delivery or another payment gateway, uh, bank transfer, SSL Commerce and place tech reserve pay and any international payment gateway. Don't worry, I will show you how to do it and coupon code. So you can give some discount to your customer using this coupon code and then anyone can apply for vendor from your website. You can easily active and deactive vendor system or vendor uploading uh, system and vendor can earn money from your website and they can sell any product, physical and digital product from your website website and they can also add product title description product image product variation and product option from the vendor dashboard so i will show you step by step how to do it then you can easily add multiple languages and you can easily translate your website to another language and you can add multiple currency and add your another currency from your website and then your customer can easily track their order from order tracking page then type their order number email address then they can click on uh, find button and they can see the uh, order status order information and everything from here also site admin can manage these orders from the order section that they can edit any existing order and they can change order status payment status and uh, anything from the dashboard okay so they can easily collect payment and site admin can change the delivery status from here update delivery and they can select or set any delivery status from here so let's get started before starting this video please like comment share and subscribe the youtube channel to get more updates To create this e-commerce website we need to purchase this script and it has another demos so i will show you step by step how to install this script and how to install another demo and installation process the same uh, for every script and this script created by bootball also you can use this script for your electronics store or you can use much free multi-vendor php script uh, laravel script uh, for your e-commerce website from here you can choose your favorite script and i will provide you these links in the video description box below and as you can see it has different of prices and if you buy the script for one time you can use lifetime and you will get lifetime update for single license and in this video i'll show you how to install the next php script to create your organic store 
and following the same process you can install another script to purchase the php script you can visit my link then click on the add to cart button and click on checkout then you can simply creating your account and once you have created your account by adding the billing details and your information then you will get a select payment method system so from here you can use your paypal uh, credit or debit card or you can use any mastercard to purchase the php script also you can purchase the php script using your paypal account i am selecting paypal then i wanna purchase it with my paypal account after completed this order then hover over on your account and click on downloads then download the uh, source code from here click on download button then click on all files and documentation okay also you have to download license certificate and purchase code to active the php script so let's click on here then open your downloads folder from your pc okay and we have got two files one our license code and second our zip file so we need to upload the zip file on our servers and now we need to purchase domain and web hosting and set up the php script so let's talk about what is the domain and web hosting a domain name refers to your website address this is what users type in a browser search bar to directly access your website like facebook.com google.com amazon.in Web hosting is a service that allows you to make your website available on the internet. It involves renting a space on a server from a hosting company to store your website files and data. Choosing the right web host is important because it can affect how well your website performs, how secure it is, and how often it's online. I wanna buy domain and web hosting from Namecheap. You can buy domain and web hosting from Hostinger, but in this video, I wanna show you how to buy domain and web hosting from Namecheap, and you can follow my discount link. I will provide you this link in the video description box below. Just go to hosting and click on share hosting. Uh, so first of all, you can start your website journey uh, from share hosting, and if you gain more visitors or lots of visitors, you can easily ship to VPS hosting or dedicated server or you can follow my previous video to set up VPS hosting but now I wanna show you how to purchase share hosting package if you buy this package you will get a domain name and you can upload your three websites and you will get 20 GB SSD and if you buy Stellar Plus you will get unmetered SSD and upload unlimited websites and you will get automatic backup system I wanna purchase this package let's click on get started button and you can type your domain name from here you can buy new domain name or you can select existing domain name but I wanna buy new domain name click on new domain name and scroll down and search for your domain name so find a new domain name go to the section and type your domain name I am typing my uh, domain name I wanna buy this one uh, tiktiga.com so this domain is not available because of I have already bought this domain name let's type any unique name so I wanna make it unique and see this is available and showing the price and this is our domain name so I wanna buy this domain name and scroll down and click on this button connect to hosting okay then you will get this price then click on add to cart button then see oh we need to register the domain name for one year so you can select your year or duration then hosting our hosting package is stellar plus and you can buy it for two years one years or one month so select it then scroll down and click on this button continue to order then you need to create a new account let's type your username password confirm password and account information or right, if you have a existing account in namecheap you can type your username and password and log in your namecheap account then you will get this payment page uh, uh, type your payment information so you can buy it using your credit card debit card or any mastercard or you can buy domain and web hosting from Namecheap using your PayPal account. So I am selecting PayPal and click on continue button and scroll down and check this option. I have pre and terms and condition then click on this button. Then log in your PayPal account then pay for it. 
after 10 to 12 minutes you will get an email like that and open the email from your mailbox and go to your login section uh, from the email then click on this link uh, to login your uh, cpanel directly and copy the username and password we have got username and password from namecheap uh, to login our cpanel directly i am trying to login my cpanel account then click on login and see we have successfully logged our cpanel account and you can manage your web hosting from the cpanel manage mysql database and install wordpress from here so now i want to try to install the php script from file manager go to file manager and here as you can see we have got some files and folders and just click on public html uh, open it and as you can see we have got a simple folder and if you visit your primary domain from here you will get this uh, folder or you will see this folder and see this is the folder we have got from our public html i want to delete this folder from here uh, i don't want it because of i want to upload my website files uh, over here so that's why i have deleted it and if you reload this page and as you can see this folder has gone and go back to your file manager then we need to show some hidden file just uh, click on settings button then select or uh, check it uh, show hidden files or dot files uh, must uh, save this option or select this option before uploading your files and now i wanna try to upload the zip file over here uh, let's click on upload from here then we can directly upload our zip file we have downloaded this zip file from our code canon so select the uh, zip file or php script file then click on open and as you can see now uploading the zip file and we have successfully uploaded the zip file then click on this button and go back to our file manager and extract the zip file click on right button then click on extract i want to extract the zip file in our public html because of this is the our root file or root directory if you want to install the script in your main or primary domain you can extract the zip file or upload the zip file in your public html folder okay that's it then we can remove the zip file from here uh, we don't need it uh, let's click on delete and click on delete and delete it and make sure these laravel files in your public html folder you can follow these files like app dot uh, stxs and another uh, files and uh, laravel file structure so make sure these files in your public html folder okay and then we can visit our link or domain from here and you will see a setup wizard and this is the setup wizard we can easily install the script uh, using the installation wizard okay and then select your language and then click on let's go button then you can see the server requirements and our server requirements php version minimum 8.1 and we have selected php 8.1 and if you don't have this option or if you don't know how to active this option and if you see some error you can easily fix it from your cpanel and change your php version so go back to your cpanel and uh, scroll down and go to the software section and uh, in the software section you can select this option select php version okay then here you can select your current php or change your current php 8.1 to 8.2 and then you can click uh, apply button uh, after selecting the option then go to extensions to active or enable disable all php extensions for example i want to find open ssl extension from here press ctrl f from your keyboard then you will get the search bar and type open ssl and see we have got open ssl and pdo extension so i wanna search pdo let's search pdo and see this is our pdo extension you can easily enable and disable it from here and you can also search mb string uh, let's search mb and you will get the mb string if you disable it from here uh, for example i wanna disable it and go back to our installer and reload this page and you will see the error okay so we have got the error because of we have disabled this option 
so if you have any error you can easily enable and disable it from here and you can easily active your uh, extension from here and you will get the green mark okay and I scroll down you will see some uh, another option apache and folder permissions so we have successfully uploaded this folder in our server and uh, again I scroll down and click on this button uh, configure and see uh, we need to set our site title so this is your company name or site name then type your domain name so by default you will get your domain name automatically in this field and then you can add your database information database host and type your database host localhost or this ip then database name and database username password so we need to create our database username and password from our cpanel go to your cpanel and scroll down and go to the database section okay then click on manage my databases then type your database name we need to create our new database and type our new database name then click on create database then click on go back and scroll down and we need to create database user and add new user so type your any name or anything whatever you want then type your password or you can generate your database password from here so you know copy this database password and save this password and you can copy or paste it or save it anywhere then click on create user and we have to uh, add the user to database so select your user or database then click on add okay then this user for the database and i want to give this uh, database permission for the user check it and click on this uh, button make changes and we need to copy the uh, database name from here and go back to our installer and uh, paste the database name in the database name field and again go back to the user uh, and copy the user database user then paste the database username and copy the database password from here okay so following the same process you can easily install it and paste it over here then click on install then wait a few seconds to install and import your database and import your some demo product demo design and demo content and the next step we need to create account to log in our dashboard so this is the admin account or admin information so you can type your first name and you can type your last name for your admin user then you can type admin username so i want to type admin and type your email address if you forget your admin password you can easily reset it and type your admin password and type your admin confirm password then click on create okay then we need to active our license or active the php script so first of all we need to type our nbato or code canon username uh, let's visit our code canon and go to the user section and copy the username and go back to your installer and paste it over here okay then parses code so we have downloaded the parses code from our code canon and this is the pdf file and see this is the pdf file and uh, let's open it and go to the item parses code so this is the our parses code copy it and paste it over here and check on it then click on active license and that's all and we have successfully installed the php script or source code in our server and now you can visit your dashboard or visit your website let's click on the button to visit your dashboard and see this is our wonderful dashboard and you can uh, easily change your site title site logo and uh, site fav icon from here but i will do it later then if you want to see your website and you can easily visit it uh, from here and see this is our logo and these are our contents okay but we have got some demo products uh, from our script and you can easily delete this product from your admin panel and you can also edit it or replace the image and contents and variable from your dashboard so i will show you how to do it step by step 
first of all i want to delete these demo products uh, i don't need it let's go back to your dashboard and go to e-commerce then click on products and here you can easily create your new product and you will see your existing product list i want to select all products from here and then delete these products from here okay and if you visit the website and as you can see we don't have any products on our website and then i want to show you how to change the logo and how to replace your logo from your website go to appearance and go to theme options and from here you can easily customize your theme and fav icon and uh, preloader from here i don't need the preloader image if someone visit your website and they can see the preloader okay default preloader then you can easily uh, change the copyright from here so this is the nest and you can type your company name or your own copyright text from here then you can change your hotline number or your phone number from here your address working hours and you can select everything from here seo description for your seo or seo title and seo default image after change your settings then click on save changes uh, to save the change then go to logo section click on logo then you can replace your fav icon if you change it from here and it will be show over here also you can change your logo from here or replace your logo then click on upload and upload it from your computer and i have shown in my previous video how to create your own logo for free from online you can follow my previous video if you don't have any logo then select your logo then click on open and insert it from here also you can replace your fav icon and create a square logo but i wanna show it for demo purpose i wanna select it for demo purpose then click on save changes and again reload this page and as you can see we have got our logo and our logo is showing over here also we have to change the logo from the admin bar let's go to your settings from your admin panel then go to uh, admin appearance okay click on it admin appearance and here you can easily change your admin logo or replace your uh, admin logo so i wanna select my existing logo then scroll down and click on save settings and if you reload this page and as you can see we have got our logo and next i want to show you how to translate the theme and you can add multiple language so to add your multiple language or translate your theme go to settings then click on language so from here you can add your multiple language so we have got our english and english au english us okay so i want to default english us and delete another english language and i want to select my own country language or you can select your own country language i am from bangladesh select bangla and uh, type your language name language short code language code and click on add your language so it will automatically add your language option and if you visit your page or reload your website and as you can see we have got english and bangla language drop down menu and as you can see this is converted english to bangla language and i will show you later how to translate the home page and home page section but now i want to show you how to translate the theme and go back to your settings and go to theme translation from localization and from here you can easily translate your theme and some keyword for example you can translate english to english or english to bangla or another language uh, your uh, favorite language or own language click on bangla i want to translate english to bangla okay then type your uh, language option from here for example if you visit your website and translate or select bangla from from here uh, select bangla and if you wanna uh, change this option uh, then you can uh, easily find the keyword from here then select it and replace your text okay so type your own text or own translated language then uh, check on it and reload this page and following the same process you can translate everything from your theme and next i want to show you how to add your product on your website click on e-commerce and go to your product option but before adding the product we need to add some categories add some brands first of all we need to add a category click on product categories 
and here you will get some default categories and also you can delete or edit these categories from here so i want to delete some categories and if you want to add new category click on uh, create then type your category name permalink description and upload your category image from here also you can select your font icon or category icon or category icon image and you can make it is feature if you make it feature it will be automatically show over here and you can use some vector images uh, from flat icons so search for flat icon and visit this website flaticon.com then search your category related icon for example i am searching nut and it will be suggest some nut image or icon so for example i want to download this image and if you want to download it png format click on png then click on free download okay so we have successfully downloaded this image category image and you can choose this image uh, from here select image and upload it uh, from your computer and select the image and click on insert okay after uploading this image then click on insert button and also you can upload icon image and make it feature then click on the save button and we have successfully saved the category and following the same process you can add your more category and if you reload this page and scroll down and as you can see we have got our category also you can uh, select your category background like that and if you go back to your category edit page and scroll down and you can select your background color from here okay so select your uh, favorite background color and click on save and again reload this page then as you can see we have got our category background image and categories and also you can show your categories over here uh, in the menu bar so how to replace your menu or change your menu items let's go back to your dashboard and go to your appearance and from here you can click on the menus and here you can easily translate your existing menu or a specific menu and select your main menu and here as you can see we have got our all menu links or menu items over here and as you can see these are our menu links or items okay so you can easily customize delete add or remove it from here and add your drop down menu and everything and i wanna delete some menu items then i wanna show you how to add your new menu item and you can add your existing page to the menu okay then you can select your product category and you can add your new product category i wanna select it and you can also uh, select your uh, icon image or menu image okay let's select it and set it then uh, save the menu and if you save the menu you can go back to your website and reload this page and as you can see we have got our menu item and menu item icon okay but we don't have any translated menu because of we have a bangla language or another language if you select it and you will don't see your menu so i wanna translate the menu for another language go to menu option and click on the plus icon uh, for uh, main menu so i wanna translate the main menu click plus icon and this is my uh, native language type your menu name for another language so I'm typing main menu VD then click on save so we have successfully added our menu and we need to add our menu item and I will translate these items so select product category and add the category I want to rename the category or menu item to translate it so this is the English title and I want to type my own uh, native title or Bangla title then select your category image and insert the image again and save the menu after saving the menu then go back to your website and reload this page but we don't have any menu items because of we don't set the menu location or uh, display location uh, check on it main navigation then again you can save this menu click on save and again reload this page 
and see we have got the menu item okay so following the same process you can add your more menu items menu pages and everything whatever you want from here and after setting the menu we need to add our product so how to add product go to your e-commerce section click on e-commerce and go to products then click on this button add a new product and here you can try your product title product permalink and product short description and then type your product long description you can type your own text or you can add images in your description box okay and scroll down and you can upload your product image from here like product cover image or thumbnail let's click on here and upload your image from your computer and then you can type your product price so you can type your own price i am typing my price then you can type discounted price so i'm gonna give them 23 percent discount that's why i'm typing this price and then you can manage your product stock from here you can select your stock status and then you can manage your shipping oid so let's type your product oid in gram because of you can manage shipping rule using this option and then you can show this product in your popular section from your home page so you can make it popular then you can change the product status and you can assign a store and you can make it feature product and finally you can select your categories and select your product brand and also you can select your product image from here so select your uh, product image then you can show your product by collection uh, select it then select product level and next you can select your tags uh, for the product and also you can customize or add your new tags rule uh, from your dashboard so now let's talk about how to manage these tags go to your settings and open the link in new tab so i gonna open it new tab and go to your e-commerce section and click on tax then you can easily enable and disable your tax information or set your default tax from here and then you can manage your tax from the tax management and you can edit your existing tax from here but i want to create my own tax for my country uh, click on create and type your tax name or title and then you can type tax percentage for example i wanna type 10 percent then you can set the priority then save this tax and next you can also add your tax rule for your state wise or country wise or city wise you can select everything and you will get all country all state from here okay so for example i am selecting uh, bangladesh and state dhaka and city dhaka and this tax will be applied for dhaka then click on save change and go back to the product page and click on save and as you can see we can we have got our custom tax you can set it from here and then you can save or publish the product click on save then you can open the product let's open the product and see this is our product and this is my product title product price and product short description also you will see the product long description or content section okay this is the our simple product and next i want to show you how to add product variation or variable product for example if you visit amazon.com and open any product and you will see uh, some variation or some uh, colorable product color wise variation or size wise variation you can easily add this feature on your website how to add this option for this product let's go back to your product and edit the product and scroll down and go to the attribute section okay then click on add new attribute and you will get some existing attribute but i wanna add my custom attribute or my new attribute from our attribute section go to your e-commerce and open the product attribute from new tab and from here you can see we have got some different of uh, attributes so if you wanna add your own or new attribute let's click on create 
and type your attribute name for example Iona type size then click on save then you can click on this option add new attribute this is our first attribute and you can add another attribute and third attribute okay so you can add unlimited attribute from here then you can select your display layout so i am selecting text swatch then click on save and go back to your product edit page and reload this page and click on add new attribute and select size from here okay we have got our size and our values so then click on add more attribute select size uh, okay so you can add more attribute but i wanna add size only click on continue then we have got this option and you can edit the price so i wanna edit the price you can you can set the selling price also you can add another attribute click on it and select your second attribute and for the second attribute and i said 15 dollar and sell price 12 dollar okay then click on save and click on add new variation and again i have selected third one and price 20 dollar and selling price 16 dollar okay and you can also add oid for shipping so i will show you how to set your shipping rule don't worry then click on save changes and that's it and you can select default attributes from here then click on save so we have successfully saved the product and if you visit the product single page and as you can see we have got our uh, size and if you change the attribute our product price is automatically changed okay so i hope you can easily add your variable product or attribute following the same process and next you can add product option click on add new option and you can type your product option name uh, for example need more and you can select your type so text type or drop down or check checkbox okay so i have selected checkbox i want to type label for example 200 gram you can offer your customer this option then click on save and go back to your single product page and reload this page and see we have got need more and product option and if someone select this one and they will click on buy now and they can see this option you can extra charge for it and also as you can see we have got our tax option and our tax rate is 10 percent and your customer also uh, see this option from your checkout page and next i want to show you how to configure shipping method and you can easily add some rules for condition wise to configure this option we need to go back to our admin panel and go to settings and then scroll down and go to e-commerce section then click on shipping and from the shipping you can select your country uh, to add your shipping rules click on select country so i am selecting my country you can select your own country so my country name is bangladesh then click on save then you can add delivery option or shipping method so you can set the rule free shipping so to add your condition you have to select your type uh, shipping type uh, based on product price based on product gram okay so if someone or if some customer order up to 500 gram they will get free shipping make it shipping free zero and click on save and go back to your website and reload this page and see this product showing free shipping because of this product weight up to 500 gram if you change the product shipping weight from here for example i am typing 200 gram for this one pack one 
and reload this page and see we don't have the shipping method or shipping rule okay so you can easily apply your shipping rule uh, following the same process and you can add another uh, shipping method or shipping rule and this is uh, inside Bangladesh I wanna select this one and make it zero because of I wanna apply this option inside in Bangladesh and then click on save and reload this page and see for inside Bangladesh it's showing inside Bangladesh $50 shipping cost or shipping fee and bad 10% and then I want to show you how to add your coupon system or create your coupon or apply your coupon. Uh, let's go back to your website and go to e-commerce then click on discounts. And from the discounts we don't have any coupon code. Click on create discount. Select coupon code and type your code name. For example I am uh, typing this coupon to 10 percent okay 10 percent offer this is my coupon code name you can type anything or you can easily generate your coupon code from here or you can set your coupon code expiry date uh, start time and in date uh, you can also check it never expired okay then you can apply some option uh, for example i wanna display the coupon code in the checkout page so this is our checkout page i wanna display the coupon code uh, check on it and you can type some uh, description to get 10 percent offer okay so you can type your coupon description then coupon type set percentage discount i wanna give them 10 percent discount if someone use the coupon code then apply for all order or you can select a specific uh, product category product or customer or variant okay uh, you can apply your uh, any option variant or SARS product uh, apply the coupon for the variant okay uh, for the variant or variation then click on save then go back to our checkout page and reload this page and see this is our coupon and if someone try to apply it and it will be automatically apply and this is the process how you can use your coupon code and next i want to show you how to add multiple currency on your website and how to update currency exchange rate automatically from api let's go back to your dashboard and click on settings from here then scroll down and go to e-commerce section and click on currencies and from here you can easily update or add your new currency and set your currency symbol and currency code whatever you want for example i want to add new currency you can also add your own currency and add unlimited currency from here let's type my currency code pdt i'm from bangladesh then uh, i'm typing my currency symbol this is the currency symbol and number of decimals so you can type two and exchange rate uh, but I want to uh, update the access rate uh, from our API layer or uh, API provider. So I don't want to change it. I want to use API layer. So you can use open access or another option. So I want to use this one. Then add your API access key and then check this option. Then visit this URL to get your API key. And from here you can subscribe some uh, packages and click on subscribe for free and you will get free plan and you will get some starter or paid plan from the free plan you will get 100 request free lifetime or you can subscribe another plan but i wanna subscribe this one free plan then click on sign in with google i wanna sign up my account using google uh, click on this button subscribe and see we have got our api key uh, copy the api key from here and go back to your dashboard and paste it over here and scroll down and save the setting okay after saving this option then click on update currency rate and it will be automatically update your exchange rate and as you can see our exchange rate is working now then visit your website and as you can see we have got our currencies and you can easily change your currency from your uh, website and see 
our currency working now and next i want to show you how to hide and show this checkout field and you can do it from your admin panel let's go back to your admin panel and go to your settings and scroll down and click on checkout from here then you can enable and disable guest checkout so if you disable it your users have to log in their account before checkout but i do want to want to disable it i wanna allow guest to check out and next you can set mandatory field for your checkout page let's enable and disable it from here so i don't want to uh, set mandatory fields for city state and country and then you can hide customer fields at checkout page uh, so i want to hide a country state and city so you can enable and disable and uh, set mandatory uh, whatever you want then scroll down and available all countries if you want to sell your products to a specific country you can set uh, a specific country or location uh, from here so i have selected bangladesh and then click on save settings and if you reload this page and see we have got some fields and we have hide our country city and another field and then your customer or visitors can type their information then click on checkout and see we have got a order and we have successfully placed the order from the account or username then your customer can click on continue shopping to buy or purchase another products from your website and you can also check these orders from your admin panel as an admin just check it uh, from here click on the order option and click on the username and see this is the order we have successfully placed the order and you can easily check customer information customer phone number customer address and everything uh, from the order page okay then you can confirm the order uh, from the back end then you can confirm the payment or you can download invoice uh, from here then you can also print invoice and the customer place the order using the payment method you can see the payment method information and pending payment uh, let's confirm the payment if you get uh, payment from the customer so you can confirm it then you can change the shipping status from uh, the uh, pending to another status let's click on update shipping status okay and as you can see you have got lots of shipping status and you can easily upload it from the dashboard or successfully shipping the product you can select deliver then click on save or update and then you will see the order status is completed also you can check your order list from orders and as you can see we have got our all of orders and you can easily edit delete and manage your order from the section and next i want to show you how to log in and register customer account or vendor account on your website let's click on login from here and as you can see we have got a demo image we want to replace this image and then i will show you how to uh, register a customer account go back to your website dashboard then click on appearance then click on theme options and then click on e-commerce and scroll down and as you can see we have got the login background image let's see replace the image and add your own logo or own image from here so i am selecting the image and insert my logo and also you can set it for your register page then click on save changes and then reload this page and as you can see we have got our uh, login page logo but it is uh, too much bigger so you can research your logo and again upload the logo but i don't want it i want to remove this logo from the login page uh, let's uh, click on cross icon and delete it from here then click on save changes and again reload this page and we don't have any logo also you can add social login system google or facebook or another login system on your website uh, so how to uh, do it let's go to your settings again and scroll down and go to other section then click on social login 
and here you can active and deactive enable or disable your social login system then you can enable facebook login and app id app secret to get app id and app secret you can follow my previous video i will give you this link in the video description box below and you can also enable google login system and get app id and app secret or api credential and after collecting app id and app secret key then paste it over here then you can enable it and finally click on save settings and that's it and go back to your login page and reload this page and as you can see we have got uh, continue with facebook or continue with login so your customer can easily login with google or facebook then you can uh, add it manually but i wanna show you how to login or register manually click on register now so type your customer name email address and all information then select i am customer and if you wanna register a vendor account you can select it and then add vendor information but i wanna add customer account or register customer account that's why i have selected i am a customer then check this option i agree to the terms and condition of privacy policy then click on the register button okay so we have successfully created the customer account then your customer can uh, see the order tracking and uh, my account page let's go to the my account page from the customer account then select the customer profile picture customer can easily change their profile picture then go to checkout and they can easily add their address information and they can see their existing email address phone number and information and now i'm going to show you how to add stripe paypal and another payment gateway on your website and how to easily integrate it let's go back to your dashboard and go to payments option then click on payment methods okay then select your default payment method so i have selected cash on delivery this is my default payment method you can choose your favorite payment gateway from here then scroll down and you can integrate stripe paypal a resort pay or another payment gateway from here you can click on setting and you can edit bank transfer payment method from here or cash on delivery so let's type your method name and type your method description or bank details from here and first of all i want to show you how to integrate stripe let's click on settings then type your you can rename it from here and your customer will see the text from the checkout page or description then you can collect stripe public key a private key so how you can get this api let's log in your stripe account or register stripe uh, let's visit stripe.com then log in your dashboard then go to developers then click on api keys and copy the publishable key okay let's click on it and it will be automatically copy and go back to your dashboard and paste the key in this field then stripe private key uh, so again go back to your uh, developers and click on the button and again copy it and go back to your website and paste it over here okay and then scroll down and select stripe checkout then oibook secret so how you can find oibook secret so you can follow these steps uh, from here so let's go back to your stripe account then click on oib hooks then scroll down and click on this button add an in point then you can uh, add your in point url let's go back to your website and copy the in point url uh, from here let's copy and go back to your stripe dashboard and paste it over here then you can type some description but this is description optional then click on this button select events then click on payment intent from here then again scroll down and from the payment intent you can check on it payment intent success edge okay let's select this one then click on add events and that's it and scroll down then click on add in point and see this is our uh, signing secret uh, let's click on it and copy this signing secret from here and go back to your dashboard then paste the oibook secret and finally click on activate and then i want to show you how to configure paypal 
click on settings and rename your method name description and you can add client id and client secret uh, let's visit paypal and uh, go to your paypal dashboard and log in your paypal and go to your business tools click on business tools and search api from here let's search api and click on api credentials then click on get started so you have to use live mode for your real website but if you wanna uh, do it for development server for development mode you can use sandbox uh, api key and client secret that's why i have selected sandbox and copy the sandbox uh, client id and secret key okay copy it in from here and paste it over here and copy the secret key let's click on it and paste the client secret and uncheck the live mode because of this is my sandbox uh, client id and client secret but you have to use live mode or check the live mode if you wanna use for your real website or real apps finally click on activate and we have successfully integrated paypal stripe and following the same process you can integrate another payment module after reloading the checkout page and as you can see we have got stripe and paypal uh, payment gateway on our website then click on checkout and as you can see we have got our stripe checkout page and your customer can add their uh, credit card number uh, type their email address and card information but this is my demo stripe account and this is the test mode so i want to order this product using test card uh, let's search on google test card numbers then you can use some test number so i want to copy this card number and use the test card number click on this option and as you can see we have successfully placed the order and our payment status showing completed okay and next i want to show you how to apply for vendor account and how to register vendor or multi-seller system from your website your existing customer can apply for vendor from their account click on become a vendor also you can disable the option become a vendor or multi-selling option if you wanna sell your own product let's go back to your dashboard then go to your plugins then click on installed plugin and this php scripts has multiple plugins and you can easily active and deactive some features using these plugins if you wanna deactive uh, e-commerce system you can easily deactive e-commerce option or marketplace so i wanna deactive marketplace or multi-seller or multi-vendor system just deactivate this plugin then go back to your uh, client or website and reload this page and as you can see this feature has gone we don't have the button apply for vendor so if you again active this plugin and it will be automatically shown over here click on activate then again go back to your customer page or customer account page and again scroll down and as you can see we have got become a vendor system so our vendor or customer can apply for vendor so a customer can type their shop name to apply vendor then shop url so our shop url will be uh, like that it will be our shop url then you can type your shop phone number then click on register so we have successfully applied for a vendor and administrator or site admin can review from the marketplace click on marketplace and go to unverified vendors and this customer applied for vendors okay is vendor and click on view icon then approve it from here click on approve it here then click on approve and we have successfully approved the customer okay then let's reload this page and this customer will be see the vendor dashboard and from here your customer can go to their home page or store page then they can add new product and they can see all orders withdrawals and revenues so if you click on revenues our revenue is zero and earnings is zero so how to add new product click on products then they can add or create product physical product or they can upload digital product so i want to show you how to upload a digital product as a vendor then vendor can type product name product permalink and product description so you can type your own description 
so for example i wanna copy some description from another website but you don't do it i wanna copy it for demo purpose okay for tutorial purpose and you can add your uh, description image and product image from here uh, let's drop your image file or upload it from here then set your cost per item and set your product price or sale price and scroll down and this section showing for digital product we can add our attachment zip file or pdf file whatever you want you if you wanna sell your theme plugin and another zip file you can upload it from here so i wanna select the pdf file or zip file from here uh, for example i wanna select it for demo purpose this is my zip file and click on open and scroll down and you can add some attribute or uh, variation or um, a license okay so your vendors can add attribute your vendors can add product option and finally click on the button to save the product or publish the product and then your vendor can easily publish and they can see their shop or view their shop but our shop is fully empty we don't have any product because of as an admin we can uh, approve the product from our admin panel so go back to your admin panel and go to your e-commerce and go to your products and view the vendor product and this uh, product uploaded or created by the vendor and this is the vendor name and you can uh, check and approve it from here let's click on approve and you can make it picture and you can change uh, product status from here and again go back to the shop and reload this page and as you can see you have got the product and if you view the product and see this is the vendor name sold by vendor and our customer can buy the vendor product from the website and i have an another account from the vendor account and i want to show you how to uh, work the vendor commission system if any vendor sell any product from your website to set the vendor commission system go back to your uh, settings from your dashboard then scroll down and go to e-commerce section then click on marketplace and from here you can set the default commission for admin so if you wanna uh, cut commission from any uh, product you can uh, do it or you can type the percentage so i wanna cut 10 percent for every product and you can do it uh, for every or enable commission fee for each category you can uh, set the commission for a specific category so type your commission and if you sell uh, digital downloadable product you can type 30 percent commission uh, like uh, theme forest and code canon okay 30 percent commission for your theme and plugins category and if someone upload any product the category theme and plugins category and, and you will get 30 percent commission as an admin so this is the commission process and how it works so i want to disable it for now and the fee for withdrawal you can set uh, uh, some fee for withdrawal if someone try to or if some vendor try to withdraw uh, they are adding from their account you can uh, set some fee then you can set maximum upload file size limit uh, 10 mb or you can set 5 mb whatever you want then maximum number of images for each product you can set the image upload limit uh, for each product and scroll down and you can enable vendor registration option or disable it and hide a store phone number and hide a store email address uh, from customer so customer won't see uh, the their email address phone number or another information if you hide it from here then you can set payout method from here bank transfer or paypal so you can easily enable and disable it and next minimum withdrawal amount you can also set the minimum withdrawal amount from here so i am typing my amount then click on save settings then go back to your website and go to your vendor account click on account from your vendor then go to vendor dashboard and this vendor has one product and earning zero 
and next i want to order this product as a customer to showing the earning process then copy this link and open this website from another window then register a new customer account from here and see we have got our new customer and view any product so this is our pdf book i wanna show you how to order it and how to work this uh, vendor commission process you can also or your vendor can also add more feature or more option or product option uh, from their dashboard so select on it if your customer need a hard cover uh, with the pdf book so your customer can check this option that's it and then click on buy now button and select paypal or select stripe then click on checkout then type your card information so i am typing my demo card information then type card holder name and finally click on the pay button and as you can see we have successed the payment so our payment is done and order is completed okay so and see this is our payment status and payment status also completed then click on continue as a customer then click on my account and your customer can go to orders and they can see their order and payment method and uh, total amount it will be automatically completed if you use a stripe paypal or any automatic payment gateway you don't need to change order status manually to download the pdf file or pdf book go to downloads and you will get your all download files click on download all files and then you can easily download your zip file from here click on download all files and save it from here okay and this is the process for digital download product and go back to your vendor account and reload this page and as you can see we have got our earnings after successfully completing any order then your vendor will get some commission and uh, uh, scroll down and this is our main product price 1500 and admin fee or admin commission is 150 and this commission cut from our admin fee 10% uh, commission and now i want to show you how to withdraw the vendor earning or revenue uh, from this website and apply to withdraw this earning just scroll down and go to withdrawals click on withdrawals and you can create your new withdrawal from here click on create but we don't set any withdraw method from the profile vendor profile let's uh, go back to your settings click on settings from the vendor and click on payout info then select your uh, withdrawal system uh, paypal or bank transfer i have selected bank transfer then type bank name bank information and bank number uh, for demo purpose so this is my demo bank account number then click on save change and go back to your withdrawals options then click on uh, create again and see we don't get any error and we have got our bank information then type the amount how many amount you want to withdraw uh, let's type it from here and type the description you can type anything then click on request and then our withdrawal request has been created and see it's showing pending now so now i wanna confirm the withdrawal from my admin panel go back to your admin panel and go to your marketplace click on marketplace then click on withdrawals and as you can see we have got the vendor request and this request pending now then click on edit and you can see the uh, vendor payment information or bank account so send the send the amount to the bank account then you can confirm the withdrawal uh, request you can change the withdrawal status from here or you can select it from the withdrawal risk then go to status then change the status to complete after sending the payment to the vendor and this is the process withdrawal system and vendor can send you the request and if you go to your website and reload this page from vendor account and vendor can see this payment is complete and showing earning zero from the account
and next i want to show you how to change the website color fonts and another thing uh, go back to your dashboard and go to your appearance then click on theme options then go to style and select your font for text or font for heading if you want to change any font you can select it from here and then select header style from here and header style 5 you can easily change your header style and now activate this header style default header then change uh, color brand then color brand dark so you can easily customize or change it uh, from here you can select your favorite or uh, custom color or dark color for your website and scroll down then save this option then go back to your website and reload this page and see we have successfully changed our website color and then i will show you how to change the slider uh, from the home page and how to customize the home page first of all i want to show you how to change the slider go to your dashboard then click on simple sliders and here you can see your existing uh, sliders you can create a new slider or you can use or edit existing slider from here and these home sliders come from our demo and you can select your custom home and use this slider from a specific uh, home page uh, if you uh, open home page or home slider one you can follow this option allies home slider uh, let's edit this uh, slider then this is our name of the slider uh, you can type uh, custom name or your own name uh, don't worry you can type anything and set the slider key this is the slider id or unique id to show your slider to any home page or anywhere you can show uh, using shortcode then slider item so every slider has multiple items or uh, slide for example if you view home page and click on next page this slider is showing multiple image and from here you can replace your image and slide title or you can add new slide uh, let's type title image link from here or you can edit your existing slider from here let's click on this button then type or add your title slide title then add your description slide description okay then you can replace the image from here select your own image delete the old image and upload your new slide image also you can make responsive the slide image using tablet image and mobile image option then click on save and save the slider then go back to your website and reload this home page and as you can see we have successfully changed the our uh, slider and then i want to show you how to change your home page structure and how to design your home page easily and we will find the slide key in the home page one so first of all we need to find our home page so to find your current home page you can go to appearance then uh, go to theme options to change your home page or set your home page from here then click on a page from here click on page and select your home page home page displays home page so you can use multiple home page for example i wanna select home page 2 or 3 so let's select home page 3 and save changes and if you visit your website and reload this page then scroll down and as you can see now showing our ads and shop by categories so now i wanna show you how to edit the home page and how to edit ads and uh, shop by category option and product title and let's see this is our current home page home page 3 so we have to find the home page to edit it go to pages from your dashboard and then scroll down and as you can see this home page 3 is our font page and also you can change about us contact us and uh, privacy policy and another phrase from here let's click on home page 3 to edit the home page 3 then scroll down and go to content section and as you can see the slider key so this is our home slider one uh, this is the key name 
and if you follow our home page short code uh, go to home page short code and this is the short code and this is the key home slider one you can easily replace it uh, let's click on it and you can edit the short code and you can change the home page uh, slider one and slider two and everything uh, you can set your key then you can set the add and this is the add section uh, for your product you can add your product image go back to your home page blogs and see this is the theme add section and add key and add two key add three key and how to find this key to change image title and button link go back to your uh, add section from your dashboard click on ads and these are our existing ads so how to find the key uh, let's copy the add key from here so click on edit and copy the key and go back to your add editor or add list and paste your key in the search bar and see this is our ad uh, showing from the key and you can easily edit it from here you can change uh, name and uh, set your title subtitle everything whatever you want and then you can rename the key and rename the button text from here then you can add your uh, product url in this field then you can set it open in new tab then upload the image let's select this image and you can add your own image and if you reload the home page and see we have successfully set our image new title and shop now button link and go back to our home page editor page and you can easily change your home page ad using these keys okay and finally we can change our uh, footer option or uh, footer address and uh, footer menus footer category menus and everything so how to change your footer section go back to your appearance then click on wizards and uh, see this is our footer sidebar and site information custom menu one two three and if you wanna rename it or change it click on here and type your email address phone number and address everything and you can replace it from here also you can replace this image for google play store or apple store click on install app then replace ios image and url android app and android uh, url and payment gateway image you can set everything from here then product sidebar and this section for free footer sidebar newsletter from site feature from and another thing uh, primary sidebar okay you can set everything from here and now i want to show you how to configure smtp server and if someone order from your website and they will get email and order notification and if someone try to verify their email address without smtp configuration these features will not work perfectly let's go to setting and click on email and uh, select send mail to your smtp or any uh, mail service provider email service provider uh, so i have selected smtv and uh, type your port host name username password and everything so how to find these options uh, you have to go to your cpanel then you can collect it so go back to your uh, cpanel then go to email section and uh, click on email accounts then you can create a new email account or business mail click on create then type your email username for example admin at the rate of your domain.com info support and like that uh, like this image uh, so these are our email and type info i want to create info email and set my password from here then click on create so uh, i have already created the email and i want to configure the email from here click on connect device and you will find some smtv information to uh, set the smtv on your website so copy the username from here this is our email username and password we have set the password uh, this is the password email password and uh, go back to your email option and paste your password then username so copy the username email address 
from here then paste it and remove a space and see outgoing server so this is our mail server and then paste it in your host field and port so our port is 465 type 465 for SSL then encryption SSL type SSL and that's it and sender name so you can type your company name website name whatever you want then sender email so you can type sender email or you can paste the email address then click on save settings and we have done the configuration so now let's test the SMTP configuration click on test email and then type your any email so I am typing my gmail account then click on send then you should receive a test mail in your gmail account you can check your gmail and see this email come from our website and see this email come from our website and this is our logo and this is a test email text and send from tech trigger and you can check the email address and see this is the uh, business mail or info email address and we have created this email address from here and thanks for watching this video if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe the youtube channel to get more updates